Hello and welcome. This is the very first, the very start of my Let's Play of Elder Scrolls Morrowind. This is my favorite game. I've gotten rather tired of Melee lately, and so I want a game that's more chill. Something where I can actually, I don't know, play it and enjoy it and not just get frustrated. And so I've chosen Morrowind, my favorite game. I have a few mods installed to make the game a little more vibrant, a little more interesting. Uh, I'm sure any uh, veteran players will notice them pretty much right away. That being said, uh, this should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? We'll do Navarro. That's my Elder Scrolls name usually. The audio on the music is just a little loud right now. say we reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us But it wasn't on the test earlier, so I'm going to leave that where it's at actually. Okay. It's funny because I say nothing and he goes quiet. Here comes the guard. Quiet. Here comes the guard. Okay, that time he actually did this quiet because I was talking in real life. Come with me. So if you get to running, your run speed is terribly slow in this game. But if you do activate a run, which yes, this is a run, you can kind of just shimmy past the guard there and come up this way. Any uh, Dead Cells fans will realize that I have Dead Cells music installed into the game as well. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. All right. And yes, Cytonine looks very different, as you can see. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. From where? He says it was like an H. I'm going to do a Breton. Oh, I didn't realize I had a face mod. Must have come with one of the other mods. <laughs> this dude's like locked in. He's like mewing. <laughs> the, the mewing button. Ah, uh, that'll have to do. Yeah. All right, that'll work. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office, and they'll finish your release. Trying to get past him. There we go. Yes, uh, a few visual mods. That's the way I like it. Hmm. Ah, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially His mouth is moving released. like one of the Canadians there from are South Park. We can do this, and the choice uh, is hey, yours. Uh, yeah, fill out forms myself. My name. For the class I'm creating? Uh. Geez, what would I call this? Spell Spear. Specialization. Magic. We'll do. Endurance and Intelligence. Yes, I agree with that. Okay. Naturally, with a Spell Spear, we're gonna start with Spear and Destruction. Then Alteration. And mysticism. Where's mysticism? Here it is. And then, do I want acrobatics? Yes, I do. Then we'll, we'll do restoration and athletics, mercantile. No, I'll do unarmored, then mercantile, and then enchant. Oh, enchant should be tops. Okay, I'm gonna switch um, mysticism for enchant. Yes. Okay, I like that. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. Yeah, I'm not min-maxing. I'm not going to be one of those people that doesn't have any of my skills I'm using in the major and minor, just so I can get like maximum stats. Uh, I'm trying to enjoy my playthrough of the game. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, that being said, I'm still going after neck. Because with Breton, so here's the idea. With Breton, I have resist magic 50 points. With Atronach, I have spell absorption 50 points. So the spells that do hit me, I'm going to tank them for half. 
and the spells that don't hit me are going to my magic pool. The Fortify Maximum Magicka is going to stack on top of my Breton's bonus Magicka, and so I'm going to have a huge magic pool as well. Uh, the only issue is that I'll have to make potions, which reminds me I need alchemy. Interesting. Now before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. I'm going to swap Mercantile for Alchemy. So let's go back to class. I need the rest of these. Mercantile, I, it's helpful, but I don't. it's not needed like Alchemy is. Which is here. Okay. That I like. See, so we start with 210 Magicka. The strength and speed are a little low, but the first thing we're going to be doing is working on getting those boots to blinding speed because I cannot stand playing this game with the base run speed. Boots of Blinding Speed for me is a necessity. I have to get them right away. And I'm not going to... I guess I could have installed a mod to change the base run speed, but uh, I, I guess I'm, I'm comfortable just using the Boots of Blinding Speed and being that much faster than everyone else. I kind of like that. Okay. You now have a stats menu where you can always view your information. Right clicking allows you to use your. Okay, we don't, we don't need to read all that. Alright, naturally. First thing to do. In this area, if you pick something up, and this is after you leave this building, this doesn't work anymore. But if. Uh, since I'm just off of the boat, so to speak, I take something and drop it on the ground before he can reach me to uh, talk to me about my crime but if I pick it back up he won't talk to me about it again because now it's like a dropped item I can do that with some of these books as well I had to be kind of quick there's four of them and they're each worth 50 gold he gets a little closer to me each time And doing this on PC is a lot easier than doing it on Xbox. Aha! I'm faster than him. Okay, I think there should be one more. Yeah! Alright, so now I can just grab all of my stuff. Or their stuff, I guess. Because they Now, the game in this area is registering this as a dropped good for some reason. In any case... Ah, uh, my low strength means that oh, even a little bit of carry weight makes me feel so slow. Yeah, they set me free from prison and I'm robbing them, so... I guess that speaks to the character of my character. <laughs> the character of my character. My character's character. The character chosen for my character to play by. Character's character. funny because I'm just like stealing their groceries at this point which is kind of depraved even their piece of paper like anything that's not nailed down could quick save because there's a really goofy trick here where you can just kind of hop through this wall. Let's, let's do fire bite for ours. There's a key there I could try to get, but it's not worth losing all of the stuff I've gathered if he reaches me before I can... Your uh, papers, please. Hold on, I'll get to you, sir. I have to get him to look back over here. Okay, let me let me at least drop the most important things. Okay, 
the rest I don't really care for losing. Willow Anther's nice to keep, and gold can it. Any mushrooms? Okay. This we'll have to see. Stolen for Dang the it. Last okay, time. he got to me first. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, that's why I didn't uh, talk, to, like, try taking that key with the stuff still in my inventory. Because he grabs your stolen goods if he catches you. Okay. Duties. Caius Casades. I think we're good. Okay. Thank you, sir. So now we're in Vardenfell. And yes, as you may notice, Satanine is quite different. I have some mods, and some is maybe a bit of an understatement. 